Welcome back, Beatbox fam. It's KO, and today we're gonna learn the inward case snare, guys. This is gonna help so much with being able to breathe in a circular motion that'll keep your beatboxing for an extended period of time. As always, if you enjoy this video, subscribe, and as always, smash that like button. Yeah, guys, so inward case snare. This was one of the first sounds that I learned, and I recommend it still be one of the first sounds that you learn. It's so important. If you want to beatbox for a long time, you need to learn this sound. So spend a lot of time because it's, it's not a very intuitive thing, right? It's very easy for me to explain, but practice it. Practice, practice, practice. I promise you'll get it. Okay, let's get to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the tip of your tongue on the back of your front teeth. See? Here's the top of your mouth, put it right there, right? Put it right at the front. Then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna close off your air passageway. Remember when I say hut? And then, what you're gonna do is you're gonna release the air pressure really quick. You're gonna create a lot of pressure. And then, release the pressure that's built up in your throat when you go. Really squeeze that T on the hut, inward hut. I'm really squeezing there. And then release the pressure of the T on your throat. And you do that by opening your air passageway. And then it's gonna create a vibration that's gonna immediately, the air's gonna go through. It's naturally gonna go through, don't overthink it guys. It's naturally gonna go through the back of your tongue and suck the sides of your tongue up against the palate of your mouth. I don't know if those hand placements <laughs> did anything at all. <laughs> but you got the point, guys, right? You put your tip of your tongue on the back front row of your teeth. And then you go inward hut. And then release the pressure. Release the built up pressure. Release the T. So then you throw it into beat and you can do this forever because now you can take in as much or as little air as you want, guys. So from there, once you have the move down, you can take in a lot of air. So See, I just got a full breath of air there. Or you can do it really quick and take in little breaths so that you can have this kind of circular breathing, you know? You understand, right? Like you could literally go on for days, but that's enough. You know the sound. If you don't, rewatch the video, rewatch the video, rewatch the video, and keep on practicing, guys. You need to learn this sound if you want to become a good beatboxer. Like, otherwise, you're going to be spitting outwards the entire time and you're going to run out of breath. That's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you all in the next one, okay? <laughs>